my hair is too tight, whatever it is, we're going to seek the Lord this morning in worship and praise. We are chasing after him. Hallelujah. Come on, bless the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 We are free to worship God and we thank you for the opportunity, God. Hallelujah. Yes, God. I'm chasing after you, no matter what I have to do, cause I need you more and more. I'm chasing after you, no matter what I have to do, cause I need you more and more. I'm chasing after I'm you. Chasing after you. I'm praising my way. 
talking to the Lord. That's speaking to the Lord. I'm chasing after you. Amen. Just read a couple of scriptures out of Psalm 118. Psalm 18. Psalm 18. Amen. There was a song that I heard a little bit earlier and I started to go to that 46th verse, but I'm just going to read the first and the second. If that's okay with you. <laughs> I will love thee. O oh Lord, this is still speaking to the Lord. I will love thee, O oh Lord, my strength. The Lord is my rock and my fortress and my deliverer. My God, my strength in whom I will trust. Amen. Whenever you say will trust, this is a commitment. I will trust my buckler in the horn of my salvation. And in my high tower, I will call upon the name of the Lord who is worthy to be praised. So shall I be saved from my enemy. He is worthy to be praised. Do you know that the Lord is worthy to be praised today? Do you know that your Lord is worthy to be praised today? Amen. My God is worthy to be praised today. And because he's worthy, I'm going to take time to just praise his holy name. I am going to take the time to salute him and celebrate him on today. I praise your name, Lord. I praise your name because it's great. It's matchless. I praise your name, Lord. I praise your name because you are high and lifted up. I praise your name, Lord. Because of your name, devils tremble. I praise your name, Lord. I praise you because you're worthy. I praise you because I was calling on your name when the fire fell on me. I praise your name, Lord. I use your name, God. Oh, God, when I need help. I use your name, God, when I need strength. I call upon your name, Lord. I call upon you because you've been so faithful. I call upon you because I can depend on you. I call upon you because there's no other name on the heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. So I call your name Jesus. I call your name Jesus. In the midst of trouble, I call your name Jesus. In the midst of trials, I call your name Jesus. Even in the midst of celebration, I call your name Jesus. Jesus, 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 
Jesus in the morning, Jesus in the new day, Jesus in the midnight hour. I find that you're always there. So I celebrate you on today. You are the King of Kings. You are the Lord of Lords. I celebrate you on today. I celebrate you. I lift my hands to you. I lift my voice to you. I command my spirit to praise the Lord. I command my mouth to praise the Lord. I command my feet to praise the Lord because you're so worthy. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I exhort you today to praise the Lord. I exhort you today to praise the Lord. I admonish you to praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Oh, God, now that we celebrate it, Lord, we want you to just come on in and continue, Lord. Continue to have your way. Continue to have your way. Saturate this place with your presence. Saturate this place with your presence. We're here given to you. We're here submitted to you. Just have your way. Have your way. Have your way. Revive us today, Lord. Revive us. Renew us. Refresh us, Lord. Let it begin with us, God. We say I'm here, Lord. I am here, Lord. Have your way, God. Let it start with me. Let it begin with me. I am here, God. Oh, I submit, God. I submit to your will. I submit to your way. I say yes, Lord. I say yes, Lord. I say yes, Lord. I say yes, Lord. To your will. I say yes, Lord. To your way. I say yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Oh, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Oh, yes, Lord. My soul. My soul. My soul. My soul. My soul says yes. My soul says yes. Yes to your will, Lord. Yes to your way, Lord. My soul says yes. I'll obey, Lord. My soul. My soul. My soul. My soul says yes. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. If it comes my life. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. I'm on of this battlefield, God. I'm on all of oh God. I say yes to you, Lord. I say yes to you, Lord. I say yes to you. see you God we ask you to continue to minister to us God have your way God have your hand God oh God present for your people God oh God your hand present for your people God oh God that we can call on you God that we can seek you Lord we ask you to look on our pastor God oh God as he brings the word to us anoint him the more God oh God for your service God anoint him the more oh God we ask you to touch his mouth God 
Let it be used by you, God. And we'll be careful to praise you in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Why don't you clap those hands and just praise him? Praise him for life. Praise him for your reasonable strength and help. Why don't you just praise him because he is God? And beside him, there is no other. Why don't you give him a praise like you love him this morning? Why don't you give him a praise like you're grateful this morning? Why don't you give him a praise because he is the lover of your soul? Why don't you give him a praise because before the foundation of the world, he knew you. Before you were an inkling in your parents' eyes, he knew you. Hallelujah. He's worthy of our praise. He's worthy of our worship. Father, we come this morning thanking you again, God, for this opportunity. You have afforded us to come before your people. God, we ask right now, God, that you sanctify these lips and this mind and this heart, oh God, that it's a, be a vessel that will be used to bring forth your word. God, a word that'll change lives, a word that'll change family, a word that'll change destinies, a word that'll change diagnosis from the doctor, a word that'll change sentences from the judge, a word, oh God, that'll change current circumstances and situations. God, we believe you, God, we trust you in your word. Now, God, we ask for a revelation, oh God, that you would give us a revelation, oh God, for these times, a revelation for our current situation, a revelation for our current circumstances, because we put our trust in you. God, we ask that you bless us and keep us in Jesus' name. Amen, amen, and amen. While you yet stand, let me read quickly from the book of 2 Kings. Second Kings, the sixth chapter. If you have it, say amen. If you don't, say wait. Second Kings, it comes right after First Kings. The sixth chapter. And it reads, And the sons of the prophets said to Elisha, Behold now, the place where we dwell with thee is too straight for us. Let us go, we pray thee, unto the Jordan, and take thence every man a beam, and let us make a place there where we may dwell. And he answered, Go ye. And one said, Be content, I pray thee, and go with thy servants. And he answered, I will go. So he went with them, and when they came to the Jordan, they cut down wood. But as one was fell in a beam, the axe head fell into the water, and he cried and said, Alas, master, for it was borrowed. And the man of God said, Where fell it? And he showed him the place. And he cut down a stick and cast it in thither, and the iron did swim. Therefore said he, Take it up to thee. And he put it in his hand, and he took it. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. We greet you in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. We give honor to him and to our elders and to our ministers and to the deacons of this church, to our mothers, to our district missionary, and to our first lady. God bless you all. This morning to all of the saints of the Most High God, we greet you this morning. I am yet saved, sanctified, fire baptized, and 
Holy Ghost feel. Tired of my body, but yet Holy Ghost feel. We had, unfortunately, scheduled this week and last week to be out at conferences and one at the national conference, the other one at the state conference, and and of almost the same schedule, Monday through Friday and come home Saturday. And I did my yesterday was just about like my last week. Got home and them peas was still, some old peas was on the vines. But I'll tell the Lord he's all right. He is all right. With all the good preaching we've heard over the last two weeks and the worship services that we've been in, it's it's just been like you've just been poured into. But we're seeking God this morning. It's the Lord give us a word or seeking God for a word this morning. And he took us over to this passage of Scripture, one that I've read and most of you have read numerous times but as you read it you say there's something in there he gonna give me a revelation at some point and you go on down to the next part but this morning the lord asked uh, gave me to talk to you from this passage of scripture and for a subject if you allow me to use one for fleeting few minutes uh my subject would be don't lose your axe head don't lose your axe head. I was reading this. I had a flashback to when we were kids growing up out in the country and didn't have much money and didn't have any fancy power tools and things like chainsaws and things of that nature. And we stayed warm in the wintertime by propane heaters and wood heaters. And since we didn't have chainsaws and all those fancy things to cut wood we had to use a cross cut saw and if y'all don't know what that is you can google that later and an axe and it occurred to me how important those things were for us living out in the country because if you didn't have the ability to be able to get some firewood i mean the propane kept you somewhat warm but there was something about that heat from wood. It was something about it that just kind of seemed to penetrate and, and, and could get you warm to the bone. And so I thought about this and I thought most of the you city folks read this, first of all, probably don't even have an axe in your possession. And if you do, most of you probably never use one much. So the story won't have much meaning to you. But I want you to understand that back in this in this time that an axe was a uh, very important tool for their livelihood and for them to be able to build and construct because they didn't have power tools either. So they had to rely on what we would call today primitive methods to do certain things. And so if you think about this, that, 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 that at least when I was growing up, as poor as we were, we had an axe. So we typically would have maybe multiple axes because you'd have multiple people cutting trees. But in this passage here, this, 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 this person couldn't even afford an axe. They had to borrow an axe. And so the Lord gave me a few points that I'd like to highlight to you this morning. If you will pray with me for a few minutes, I just want to highlight a few things to you that uh, the Lord revealed to me in this passage of scripture. In fact, when I went and I was doing some research, I mean, the commentaries were all over the place in terms of what this passage of scripture mean. And I said, well, I can't deal with all of that. Lord, I need you to give me a revelation. And so he, he, he gave me about five points that I want to quickly run through that, that, he, that he told me. Uh, you see that the, the Bible, it starts with the sons of the prophets. Uh, they said Elijah, they said that the place that they were, that they were living was too small. And, and, and the Lord revealed in there, he said that uh, what was occurring was a shift. And, 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 and point one is that we need to recognize when God is shifting us. 
when God is saying that 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 I'm that I'm, that I'm shifting you, um, I'm, I'm 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 ready to take advantage of some of the things that I placed on the inside of you. In other words, uh, you've had them, and, and and sometimes we 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 get these gifts and we get these talents, and we sit on them like there's going to be this great opportunity, and the, and the, and 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 the sun going to open up one day and say go forth. But he gave you those gifts. He gave you those tools for you to be using all the time. And one of the things that, that, that he said, he said, he said that there, there's, there's a shift in, in this season. There's a shifting that's occurring with all the chaos that's going on in the world. There's a shifting in the spirit realm as well. There's a shifting. And we need to be cognizant of that and be connected to the Lord enough to be able to recognize when that shift is occurring. There's a shifting in our lives, and, and many of you may find yourselves that in a place where there's things that, that, that you've been doing that you were satisfied with that they no longer satisfy you. It's things that you have done and you considered, that's my space, and, and, and I find myself in a place that, 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 that no longer fulfills me as it once did. Tell your neighbor, the Lord may be shifting you to a higher place. Go on, and they said that this place is too small. That's what they're saying. And they said, "Let us go. Let us let us go to the Jordan. And when we go over to the Jordan, the, the, the trees over there, and, and we'll cut down some trees, and each one of us will build a house and make a place there where we may dwell, and we'll be able to basically build a little little, little, little city there, a little cottage there. But each one of us will build a cottage there." And then one asked Elisha, he says, we want you to go with us. And Elisha said, I will go with you. The second point is that when, when the Lord uh, gives you uh, uh, instruction that there is a shift, that you recognize a shift, that you need to seek the Lord for direction. Not only the what, and many times we will run with the what, but we need to get revelation in terms of the, of the where and the how. You know, Proverbs 3, 5, and 6 tells us, lean not to thy own understanding, but we should trust. We should trust in the Lord and lean not to our own understanding. And then he, he, he said that, uh, and so they went, and when they came to the Jordan, they cut down wood, they cut down trees. And the Bible says as one was falling, the axe head fell off into the water. And he cried out to Elisha. He said, I lost my master, for it was borrowed. It, it wasn't my axe. It wasn't mine. The third point the Lord gave me is the, the power of partnering. Being connected to somebody that you can uh, be accountable to, and they hold you accountable. Recognize that the enemy's charge is to kill, steal, and destroy. And so when we're partnering and when he got in trouble, he cried out to the prophet. He said the axe was barred. Isn't that interesting that he didn't say, I can't cut no more wood. He said that it was barred. So he had lost his axe head. The fourth point the Lord gave me that there will be obstacles. There will be things that get in your way. There will be challenges that will come forth. But you have to be confident in this thing, knowing that God has called me to do this. God has ordained me to do this. And when the obstacles come up against you, or the obstacles come into play, that you don't yield, you don't quit. Simply because something gets in the way. In fact, I, I, I challenge you to, 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 to get so with the Lord that, that, that when obstacle comes up against you, that, that you can get excited. Because you know, if, if, if I got obstacles in my way, then I notice something is good is on the other side of this thing. 
that the devil recognized that God is getting ready to do something and he's getting ready to use you. He's getting ready to move some things. And, 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 and since the enemy is trying to slow me down, that means that I need to get I need to pick up my pace. I need to get in a hurry because God is getting ready to do something. And so when he cried out that he lost, the axe said and said it was borrowed. And then the Bible said that the man of God said, where fell it? Where did it fall? And he showed him a place. The Bible said he cut out a stick and cast it dither, and the iron did swim. Now, the iron represents work. Some commentary said the stick represented Christ and the cross. I don't know. The Lord didn't tell me that. Uh, it simply told me that he called out to the prophet. He told the prophet that it was he lost his axe head, and his axe head was borrowed. And the prophet took actions to get the axe head back. He cut it down, and the Bible said that he that he threw it in the water. And he gave the iron an example to follow. And as the stick floated, the axe head came up and began to float. And then the prophet tells him, he said, therefore, take it up. You pick it up. The same one that lost the axe head. You pick it up and put it in your hand. See, when you get your axe head, now you can go to work. But, but, but when I was studying that, when I, the Lord was revealing to me, began to speak to me, he said, as long as you got the axe, as long as you got what God has placed on the inside of you, as long as you got the tools that God has placed in you, as long as you have those things, you can work. But, but you got to understand that for you to be effective in working, you must understand that, 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 that sometimes I may have the axe, but for me to be effective, I got to keep an edge on my axe. And so I'll stop by to just give you a few things that you can do to keep an edge on your axe. One of the things you can do, you can find out that if the Lord has called me as a prayer warrior, one of the things I got to do to keep my edge is I got to pray. When the Lord has given you to be an encourager, and that's your axe. To keep your edge, you got to encourage somebody. Hallelujah. Found out that when the Lord gave you the ability to get a word, you got to get a word and give a word. That's how you keep your axe. That's how you keep your edge on your axe. Well, as I get ready to take my seat, I want to remind you of what Jesus said over in Luke chapter 4. Hallelujah. Jesus quoted from Isaiah when he said, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. Let me pause right there and digress for a minute, if you will. I heard somebody say this week that your anointing Hallelujah, that the Lord has given you anointing, and the anointing is for you to work. It isn't for you to glorify yourself. The anointing is the tool that you use to do your work. I stopped by this morning to let you know that if you got the power of the Holy Ghost, if you got the anointing of God, then it's time to say, I have lost my axe head, I've lost my edge. Uh, hallelujah. But I got to, uh, I have to uh, get back busy. Get busy about the work of the Lord. Uh, hallelujah. Um, I understand that we came out of, of a pandemic. Uh, I understand that I lost some things in there. Uh, hallelujah. Uh, but the Lord allowed uh, me to come out of the pandemic. Uh, he gave me the activity of my limbs coming out of it. Um, 
I still have a voice that I can say, praise the Lord. I still have feet that I can shout to the Lord. Uh, and since the Lord has allowed me to keep these things, uh, I'm going to use them for the glory of the Lord. Uh, hallelujah. And if my anointing, uh, if God has placed an anointing uh, on the inside of me uh, and has given me the ability uh, to have an anointing, uh, then I must use my anointing uh, to do the work of the Lord. Uh, hallelujah. Uh, I stopped by to challenge you this morning. Hallelujah. Uh, to consider uh, your ways. Uh, hallelujah. Uh, if you have uh, the anointing of God, uh, hallelujah, uh, you should uh, have a word for somebody uh, to be able to tell them, uh, hallelujah, uh, that the Lord, uh, he loves you, uh, hallelujah, uh, you should be a witness, uh, be able to tell them, uh, hallelujah, uh, I too uh, was a wretch undone, uh, wasn't fit to live, uh, and wasn't prepared to die, uh, but I went to the church uh, on a Wednesday night, uh, and the Lord, uh, he changed me, uh, he changed my mind, uh, he changed my heart, uh, hallelujah, uh, I stopped by uh, this morning uh, to tell you, uh, hallelujah, uh, that the Lord uh, has anointed me uh, to preach the gospel uh, to the poor, uh, hallelujah, uh, not just poor uh, in resources, uh, but poor in spirit, uh, poor in will, uh, poor in, hallelujah, poor in your ability uh, to do what the Lord uh, has called you to do. Uh, I stopped by uh, to tell you this morning uh, that the time uh, is out for you uh, to be comfortable uh, and for you to be uh, in your comfort. Uh, it's time uh, to get about uh, our Father's business. Uh, hallelujah. Uh, we got violence uh, in the street. Uh, we got young women uh, having abortions. Uh, we got men uh, confused about uh, the sexuality. We got women confused about uh, the sexuality. Uh, hallelujah. Uh, and you can tell them, uh, God didn't make uh, a mistake uh, when he created you uh, like he created you. Uh, hallelujah. Uh, he created you uh, with a purpose. Uh, he created you uh, on purpose. Uh, hallelujah. Uh, don't let the enemy uh, tell you uh, that God made uh, a mistake uh, when he created you. Uh, he knew you. Uh, before you were even uh, in your mother's womb. Uh, hallelujah. Uh, he made you uh, on purpose. Uh, and he made you uh, with a purpose. Uh, hallelujah. So it's time. Uh, hallelujah. Uh, that he would get a word. Uh, a word uh, that will heal uh, the brokenhearted. Uh, hallelujah. Uh, I stop by uh, to tell somebody today uh, that I recognize uh, in your life, uh, you got some trials, uh, you got some tribulations, uh, you got some troubles, uh, you got some disappointments, uh, hallelujah, uh, and the devil uh, and the enemy uh, is satisfied uh, with you wallowing in uh, your disappointments uh, and your heartaches uh, and your pains, uh, but I stopped by uh, this morning uh, to challenge you, uh, hallelujah, uh, to get an attitude uh, of gratitude, uh, to be able to say, uh, for the Lord, uh, you created me uh, with a purpose. Uh, you created me uh, on purpose. Uh, I'm going to walk uh, in my anointing. Uh, hallelujah. Uh, I'm going to do uh, what you told me to do. Uh, people may look at me, look at me funny, uh, but I don't care. Uh, hallelujah. Uh, I'm going to do uh, what the Lord uh, has told me to do. Uh, I'm going to go back uh, and get my axe head. Uh, hallelujah. Uh, I'm going to call on uh, the name of the Lord. Uh, hallelujah. Uh, 
help me to find my my accent. Hallelujah. I'm not talking about your gift. I'm not talking about your talent. I'm talking about uh, your anointing. Uh, I'm talking about uh, whatever the Lord uh, has anointed you uh, to do. You can uh, declare today, uh, I'm anointed. Uh, hallelujah. God has placed uh, his anointing uh, on the inside. Uh, hallelujah. 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 Got people bound uh, all around you. Hallelujah. And the Lord uh, has anointed you uh, to preach deliverance uh, to those that are bound. Uh, hallelujah. Uh, and we caught up uh, in ourselves uh, instead of going back. Uh, hallelujah. Uh, getting your accent. Uh, getting your anointing. Uh, hallelujah. Uh, I found out uh, you don't have to have uh, a long dialogue. Uh, hallelujah. When you've been uh, anointed for it, uh, you can walk by, uh, slap them on the shoulder. Hallelujah. Be healed uh, in the name of Jesus. Be delivered uh, in the name of Jesus. Be set free uh, in the name of Jesus. You don't even have to uh, open your mouth. Uh, just lay your hands on them. Uh, Hallelujah. When you are anointed of God, hallelujah. I stop by to tell you when you walk in the room, your anointing comes in with you. Hallelujah. And the devil try to get you to downplay what God has anointed you to do. Hallelujah. Try to make you feel like a, a misfit. Hallelujah. I stop by to tell you, I might be uh, a misfit uh, in this world, uh, hallelujah, but I'm going to fit perfectly in the world to come, uh, hallelujah. Tell your neighbor, uh, I'm anointed uh, for my purpose. Uh, God created me. Uh, he anointed me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He has anointed me. Uh, hallelujah. To set the captive free, uh, hallelujah. He's anointed me uh, to bring sight uh, to the blind, uh, hallelujah. And most people think uh, that he's talking about uh, the natural sight, uh, but I stop by uh, to let you know uh, that he's talking about uh, spiritual revelation, uh, hallelujah. When the devil uh, has chaos uh, all around you, uh, when there's trouble, uh, on every side, uh, and you don't know uh, whether to go to the left uh, or to the right. Uh, hallelujah. Uh, tell the Lord, uh, show me, uh, hallelujah, where you want me. Uh, show me uh, what you want me to do. Uh, show me uh, where you want me to go. Uh, show me uh, how you want me to do it. Uh, hallelujah. I stop by uh, to let you know uh, that people uh, may look at you funny, uh, hallelujah, uh, but your anointing uh, will allow you uh, to walk into uh, your destiny. Uh, it will allow you uh, to walk in uh, to your purpose, uh, hallelujah. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. There's too many uh, people in the world uh, that they're bruised uh, and they're crushed, uh, they're broken down uh, by the trials uh, of this life. Uh, hallelujah, uh, don't know uh, which way to go. Uh, and the Lord uh, has anointed you. Uh, Hallelujah, to be a light uh, in dark places. Uh, he has anointed you, uh, hallelujah, uh, to give them direction. Uh, hallelujah, uh, all you be able uh, to be able to say, uh, like the woman at the well, uh, come see a man. Uh, hallelujah, uh, he knew everything uh, that I had done. Uh, come see a man. Uh, hallelujah. Uh, this man uh, is from Galilee. Uh, hallelujah. Uh, he'll release you uh, from all the burdens uh, that you're carrying around uh, in this world. Uh, 
Hallelujah. I stop by Powerhouse uh, this morning uh, to tell you uh, that there's a shift uh, in the atmosphere. Uh, hallelujah. Uh, there's a shift uh, in the spiritual uh, atmosphere. Uh, hallelujah. Uh, tell your neighbor uh, I'm moving up. Uh, hallelujah. Uh, I'm getting ready uh, to go with the ship uh, that the Lord, uh, hallelujah, uh, is a carrying. Uh, hallelujah. I'm shifted. Uh, I'm shifted. Uh, I'm shifting. Uh, hallelujah. Uh, I found out. Uh, hallelujah. Uh, when God uh, makes a shift, uh, hallelujah, uh, it feels weird uh, in the ship. Uh, but I stop by uh, to let you know uh, we don't operate uh, on our feeling. Uh, hallelujah. Uh, we going to do uh, what the law says do. Uh, but you know why? Uh, because we are uh, who God said we are. Uh, we can do what the Lord said we can do. Uh, hallelujah. Uh, we going to walk uh, where he told us to walk. Uh, I stop by uh, this morning uh, to tell you uh, that if you seek him, uh, when you go back uh, and get your acting, uh, when you go back uh, and get your anointing, uh, hallelujah, uh, you're going to be able to, uh, hallelujah, uh, you're going to be able uh, to be able to lead uh, and not borrow. Uh, you're going to be able to uh, be blessed in your going in and you're coming out. Uh, you're going to be blessed uh, in the city, uh, blessed in the field. Uh, you're going to be blessed uh, whatsoever the hands uh, find to do uh, shall be uh, shall be blessed and as I get ready to take my seat the trick of the enemy is to get you to cry because you lost your axe head cry because I lost something. But I stopped by to tell you this morning that if you lose something, see God for revelation. Did I lose it because I don't need it? Or did I lose it because you got something better for me? But in either case, I can't spend much time on what was lost. I got to seek what God has for me tomorrow. And God, we thank you God, we praise you for your anointing. God, we thank you for the power of the Holy Ghost. God, we thank you for where you're taking us. God, we thank you for not allowing us to get trapped by what we see. Not get trapped by the restraints of yesterday. And be able to praise you for where you're taking us. We praise you. We praise you. We praise you. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Is there anyone? Hallelujah. They want to declare, I've lost my axe head. I've downplayed my anointing. God, I need a refresh. I need refreshing. Of your power. I need to be able to walk in what you've called me to walk in. I need to be able to do what you've asked me to do. Father, we thank you right now, God. We ask you, God, that you could help us, oh God, to seek you the more. And God, not get consumed by our gifts but use the gifts to advance the kingdom of God and to walk in our anointing that will allow us to walk in our purpose. God bless your people that's got a heart for you, oh God. Talk to them, oh God, and encourage them to walk according to your word that we will seek revelation in your word, we will seek guidance in your word. We will no longer be trapped by the tricks of the enemy. That we will hunger and thirst after you. 
and you will guide us. You will direct us. And oh God, on that day that you called us home, God, you'll be able to say, well done, that good and faithful servant. Enter into the joy of thy rest. In Jesus' name, amen, amen, amen. The praise team is coming. Hallelujah, God, we thank you, we thank you, we thank you. We thank you for a fresh anointing, God, we thank you for the word. And God, we lift our hands, and we lift our hearts, our hearts are open, our hands are lifted up, because there is no other God like you, and we declare that every other name must fade away. 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 Hallelujah. 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 Hands up, hearts open, wide as the sky. We lift you high. Yes, God. We lift you high. Hands up, hearts open, wide as we cry. Lord, we lift your name high. Hands up, hands up, hearts open, wide as the sky. We lift you high, we lift you high. Hands up, hands up, hearts open, wide as the sky. We lift your name high. Hearts open wide as the sky. We lift you, we lift you high, we lift you high. We lift you high. Hands up, hands up. Hearts open wide as we cry. We lift your name, Lord. We lift your name. Come on, everybody, lift our hands. Hands up, hands up. Hearts open. Wide as the sky, we lift you high. We lift you high. We lift you high. We lift you high. Hands up, hands up, hearts open. Wide as we cry, Lord, we lift your name. Come on, say everybody, join in. Hands up, hands We worship you, God. We honor your name, God. We lift you high. We lift you high. Lord, we lift your name. Lord, we lift One more time, we high. worship you, Lord, with our hands up and surrender. God. Our hearts are open to you, God. And we lift your name. We lift you high. We lift you high. We lift you high. We lift you high. Why as we cry? Lord, we lift your name. Lord, we lift your name high. Let all the other names fade away. Let all the other names fade away. Till there's only you. Let all the other names fade away. Jesus, take your place. Let all the other names Let all the other names Till there's only you Let all Jesus take your place Jesus take your place Let all the other names Let all the other names Oh, we see it's you, 
belongs to him. We declare our hearts belong to you, God. We love you forever. I love you forever. Forever, Lord. We worship forever. We worship forever. We worship you forever. We worship you forever. We worship you forever. We worship you forever. We give glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God forever. We give glory to God. Yes, God. Glory to God. Glory to God forever. We give glory to God. Glory to your name. Glory to his name. It's to him forever. 
He's worthy of the glory. He's worthy of the honor. He's worthy of our praise. We give you glory. We give you glory, God. Glory to God. Glory. Glory to God. Glory to Glory to God. Forever. It's so worthy. It's so worthy, God. It's so worthy. And my heart will sing your praises, Lord. It's so worthy. It's so worthy. Yes, God. It's so worthy. And my heart will sing your praises, Lord. It's so You're so worthy, yes, God. You're so worthy, and my heart will sing your praises, Lord. You're so worthy, you're so worthy, you're so worthy, you're so worthy, you're so worthy. So worthy, and my heart will sing, and my heart will sing your praises, Lord. So worthy, so worthy. We lift our hearts and our praise to you, God. So worthy. We surrender to this moment with you, God. It's so worthy, and our hearts will sing, and my heart will sing. Of your praises, Lord, last time you're so worthy. So worthy. You're so worthy. So worthy. You're, so worthy. Yes, you're so worthy, Lord. So Hallelujah. Worthy. And my heart will sing of your praises, Lord. Now this is your moment to praise his name. Come on, we worship him, God. We adore you. Hallelujah. God, we magnify you, God. Hallelujah. We thank you for your presence, God. Hallelujah. We thank you for your word, God. Hallelujah. We thank you for a fresh Lord. Hallelujah. We thank you for your strength, God. Hallelujah. We thank you for your life, God. Hallelujah. Thank you for being a keeper, God. Hallelujah. Thank you for being the very breath that breathes, God. Hallelujah. Thank you for being the Lord of Lords. Hallelujah. Thank you for being my deliverer, God. Hallelujah. Thank you for being my healer, God. Hallelujah. Thank you.
Hallelujah. We could stay there just for a few minutes if you like. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let him finish his work. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He's worthy of our praise. He's worthy of our worship. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let him complete his work. Hallelujah. 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 Why don't you just go ahead and talk to him? Just spend a few minutes. Hallelujah. Forget about your neighbor. And just spend a, spend a few minutes talking to him. Hallelujah. You've been so good. Hallelujah. You've been so kind. You've been better to me than I've been to myself. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to spend some time in your presence. Hallelujah. 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 I praise you, God, for doing those things. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. In the midnight hour, when I couldn't tell anybody, I could talk to you. Hallelujah. When I didn't know which way to go, I could talk to you. When I didn't know what to do, I could talk to you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You touched me in places I didn't know existed. Hallelujah. You gave me hope when I wanted to throw in the towel, God, when I didn't know which way to go. Hallelujah. God, you intervened. Hallelujah. When it looked like it was hopeless, oh God. Didn't know whether to go to the left or to the right, oh God. Hallelujah. But one thing I could do is call on your name. Hallelujah. Even God, when I didn't feel you, I could call on your name. God, when I didn't see you, I could call on my name, call on your name. God, when I didn't know what to do, I could call on your name. Hallelujah. And I called on you, God. Hallelujah. And the old folks used to sing, the more I call you, the better I felt. Hallelujah. Even when the situation didn't change, but my connection with you, my anointed connection with you, gave me hope. Hallelujah. It provided light in that dark place that I was in. Hallelujah. And God, for that, I thank you. I thank you, God, when death was all around, you let me live. Hallelujah, God. When I didn't see, I didn't think I was going to make it, you allowed me another chance. And God, since you gave me that chance, I'm going to praise you, God. 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 With my hands lifted up and my heart filled with praise, I'm going to praise you, God. And God, I thank you. I bless you, God. I bless you, God. Hallelujah. Now, for those of you that's been praising him, I'm going to give you just a minute to worship him. Hallelujah. When you praise him, hallelujah. Hallelujah. But when you worship him, and that's that intimate space between you and him. Hallelujah. That's that intimate space between you and him. When you worship him, you honor him. Hallelujah. Simply because of who he is. We worship you. We worship you because you are our Lord of Lords. You are our King of Kings. You are the great I am. Hallelujah, God, and I worship you. Hallelujah. We're getting ready to get our Sunday school review, but I heard preachers say this week. He said, when the woman, when the Lord said that God is a spirit, Jesus said, God is a spirit, and he who worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth the preacher said truth is the realness he gave some examples he said that if you driving a fancy Mercedes and living in an apartment that's not truth if you dressed up making nerve trying to make it look like everything's okay and life's a mess that's not truth but the only way the Lord can help you is you deal with him in truth hallelujah our first lady is getting ready to come hallelujah but while she's preparing if you just want to spend a few more minutes talking to him in truth somebody dressed up this morning and is a mess that's truth God deals in truth. Let's get let's give our first lady a hand as she comes. 